What is going on guys, DBG here, and since 2K literally have told us nothing about the game, which is crazy because they're actually trying to sell us an edition of the game that's $150. Don't worry, I will be buying the regular edition. I'm not a hypocrite saying that no one should pay $150 then do it myself. I'm paying $60 or, actually no, I'm paying 70 euro which is about $85 and that's what the regular edition of the game costs in Europe. I know, ridiculous, but yeah. I don't know why I started off my video like that, but anyway, in this video, because we've heard absolutely nothing, I'm going to predict the five players that I think are going to be the domination awards at NBA 2K18, my team. Before this video starts, if you guys could leave a like and leave it in the comments what you think is going to happen in the McGregor Mayweather fight tonight. I personally think that if it goes all 12 rounds, Mayweather obviously will win. But I'm calling it now. If one of us goes, we all go to war. McGregor, knockout in round four. That's my prediction. Leave your predictions in the comments. So anyway, now let's get on to the five players. The way I'm kind of deciding this is players that there's going to be a little bit of hype about that 2K can actually give upgrades to. Cards that you know for a fact are going to get diamond cards, a lot of them. Either that or it'll be their only Amethyst card and they won't get a card anywhere near an Amethyst any, at any other time in the game. So nothing has been confirmed yet. I think that more than likely they will have, for normal domination, they'll have Amethyst reward cards and it'll be diamond for historic and it'll have pink diamond for um, all time teams. That's what I think will probably happen, but you never know. They might actually downgrade it to rubies and then Amethyst and then obviously diamonds for uh, all time teams. That will be a little bit annoying because you need to win 30 games, need to win 30 games doing certain things just to get a ruby card, which really won't be worth it. These last year the amethysts were barely worth it. We don't actually know anything. And again, just like the last video, I'm sorry for my card design. I'm really, really bad at making templates, but this looks kind of the way they do in 2K18 from what we've seen. So yeah. So first up is one that I just have him in because 2K loves giving out this card as a reward card in everything, and it's Rip Hamilton. Rip Hamilton had two events cards last year. Yes, two events cards. And was a reward in NBA 2K16. And yeah, that was it as far as I know. I think Rip Hamilton will have a 92 overall card and will be one of the historic dominate not sorry, not historic, but will be one of the normal domination rewards. There's not a lot of hype about Rip Hamilton, but he's just a solid card. He's always going to be a solid card. Every version of Rip Hamilton ever is just solid. I think he's going to have maybe like an open shot three of about 90 to 94 maybe. And then a really good mid-range shot, really good free throw, be a solid defender. And I think he's probably going to be the least picked of all the cards because obviously there's not going to be any real hype about him. But he's going to be a solid card nonetheless and... If maybe if he gets a two or three um, chances like you did last year, obviously from the um, blacktop board, things like that, there's probably going to be a draft board as well that you can get these cards on. So yeah, I think that that'll be an okay card, but it won't be picked much. Next, we have got a center. I think they're going to have one big guy in this set, and this is one of the best centers of all time who actually wasn't in the game until this year, and it's Nate Thurmond. The biceps, as Caldy would say. Caldy mentioned it in his video yesterday. But yeah, that's basically why anyone is going to pick this squad. Because of the biceps, because of Caldy. But yeah, he might actually get picked up a little bit. Not particularly tall for a center. So how he's going to play in game, we don't really know. Stats wise, his stats will be decent, obviously. Because he is one of the best senders of all time. 2K are realistically, they're going to probably find a way to get this guy a diamond card. So, just getting him in the game, getting people used to using a new player, and also kind of getting a little bit of hype around him will actually be quite good. They did it with Steve Francis last year. There was a lot of hype around Steve Francis because the year before, they only had a rookie of the year Steve Francis card. That was, I used him, that card was terrible. But the amateur Steve Francis was insane. And then when they released the Diamond Steve Francis, there was a lot of hype. They opened a lot more packs. And I think they might do something like that with Nate Thurmond. That they do have like kind of a decent amethyst card and then eventually give a diamond card next up is a guy that i'm almost certain is going to be some type of reward in nba 2k18 and it's rudy gay if you guys don't know the whole backstory when 2k did the march madness pink diamond tournament they kind of pitted players against each other personally i think ingram should have won a six foot ten shooting long wing would have been a perfect pink diamond card to have but rudy gay actually got all the way to the final in that 
So it was Rudy Gay versus Dwayne Wade. So like Rudy Gay got like past some all-time greats on the way to the final. So people obviously really wanted to use a Rudy Gay Pink Diamond card. Obviously, Los Polos really, really pushed for Dwayne Wade. And then we got possibly the worst Pink Diamond card in the game. And then about three or four weeks later, as far as I remember, there was a Dwayne Wade card released that was actually way, way better than the Pink Diamond. But for Rudy Gay, that would not have happened. They were hardly going to release a 97 overall Rudy Gay. But I think that that showed that enough people actually do care about Rudy Gay that 2K are going to put him in as a reward for a little bit of hype. I would not be surprised to see him as like a historic domination reward or as the Memphis Grizzlies collection reward for next year. But I do think that Rudy Gay in some form will have either an Amethyst or a Diamond reward card. My prediction is that he will have a Amethyst normal domination reward card and that it will probably be the best of all the reward cards. Because if you guys have ever played with Rudy Gay in 2K, he always shoots way better than his stats show, he's always a good defender, he can always dunk the ball, and just overall in 2K, Rudy Gay is normally incredible. So I think he will have some form of reward card, and I'm just predicting it now that he will be a normal domination reward and a 92 overall. And the last two players are two players that I actually had in yesterday's video. And I do think that both of these guys will get diamond cards at some time in NBA 2K18. First up, we've got Stefan Marbury. Obviously because, again, a little bit of hype. Like, the more hype there is about these players, the quicker players are going to finish domination. And this is a kind of weird logic, but I think that this is something that kind of goes on in 2K's mind. You see, when people play domination... They get slightly higher MT. They actually get a lot of MT early in the game. Because there's hype, they can grind early in the game. But that MT, they will spend on players that will depreciate in value. And therefore, they're going to get used to spending. They're going to get used to having the high MT. And realistically, the only way to keep that high MT level is by spending money on the game. So that may be in 2 guys' thought process, but maybe not. But Stefan Marbury will have a bit of hype. I think they will give a uh, Minnesota Timberwolf Stefan Marbury card and make it an Amethyst because he did have some great years, some great moments for the Timberwolves. And who knows what it could have been if him and Kevin Garnett had stuck together. That team could have been really something special. But yeah, I think definitely he's going to have at least one diamond card. Maybe a low rate and a high rate diamond. But I can guarantee that Marbury does have a diamond. But I'm fairly confident that he will have some sort of a lower rated rewards card for the Timberwolves and then we'll have a diamond for either the New Jersey Nets, the Phoenix Suns or who knows maybe even the New York Knicks. <laughs> and last up is basically Steve Francis from last year. This card and Steve Francis from last year will be basically the same card just with different animations and it's Baron Davis. I think definitely Baron Davis is going to have a lower rated card. I know that I've used his Warriors card here, but probably it will be a New Orleans Pelicans card. Um, the Baron Davis Amethyst card, because I do think he will get a moment's diamond card, especially in the playoffs for his incredible, incredible 2007 playoffs, where his We Believe Golden State Warriors team actually upset the number one seed Dallas Mavericks. As far as I know... Has there been any other 8v1 upset since then? I'm not entirely sure if when the Grizzlies beat the Spurs it was 8 versus 1, but yeah, that has been one of maybe 2 to 3 max in my lifetime that there's that's happened, and he was the leader of that Warriors team. He averaged like 25 a game in that series and averaged like 3 steals a game, which is absolutely incredible. So I think definitely I'll give him a diamond card. But I think just again for the hype factor, I think they will have him as an Amethyst normal domination reward card. I could be completely wrong, but that is just my prediction. So anyway, that's the video. I think that these guys may be uh, normal domination rewards. Like this is just predictions off the top of my head. I kind of have a little bit of logic, but I don't even think 2K has any logic with the players they put in because, well, maybe uh, Steve Francis, but like last year they had World B Free, Jim Jackson. So I'm not even sure what logic 2K had. Obviously, Sean Marion as well. But yeah, these are just my picks. I would actually love it. If these five were the five uh, domination rewards, I would complete domination within a day, no doubt about it. But yeah, it's 2K's decision. We don't know what exactly 2K are thinking. So, hopefully by the time I upload my next video, Conor McGregor will have won the fight. If not, he's gone into a sport that he's never fought in and fought the best fight, points fighter of all time. So he's got nothing to lose out there. So anyway, that's the video. 
Thank you guys for watching. Please, please like, comment, and subscribe.